Welcome to this NAB 2019 special about the Panasonic Eber one camera and the Skahoy RCP. So, if you want to see all the details, come to our booth in Central Hall and we'll show you. But in this video, I'll give you a quick overview. So first of all, the Eber one camera is a great cinematic camera made for recording beautiful pictures. But if you want to use it on a live production, you need an RCP panel. Otherwise, you can't adjust its colors so it matches other cameras. And that's what we made happen. So, um, with us today we have the uh, RCP V2 from Skahoy, the EVO 1 camera right here. And basically an RCP is that panel that you install in your OB truck or in your studio, typically lined up with a number of other panels, so they will sit next to each other, one for each camera, and you can pull handles, or in this case, uh, in, in, on, on this particular version, on the screen behind me, you see we have a roller wheel, which is a new feature you can come to our booth and check out, which is really awesome if you want to use every RCP for multiple cameras. That's that's possible as well. And really these RCPs are necessary to connect your, um, uh, to control the colors on the camera. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So the most important thing you can really do on an RCP will be to adjust the iris. So you'd see the handle right here on the RCP. When I pull this handle, I'm adjusting the iris and you can see it on the output picture from the camera. So that's one basic feature. Another one will be adjusting the master black. So you can see when I, I turn the ring on the joystick, I'm adjusting the black level on the picture. Now, I want to take you a bit closer to it, so just allow me to recall a preset on my robotic camera right here. And you'll see, um, if we just go to the section we saw before, you can see in this pic uh, in this display, you see the um, the value of the aperture. You also see here the uh, pedestal, the master pedestal value, which is the one that I'm adjusting with the ring. Actually, this encoder knob will give you an alternative way of setting this value. Now, uh, we have a number of other buttons. Typically, you know, program, uh, sorry, uh, preview button. It flips a relay inside. Um, you'll see that button right Right here flips a relay it's also on top of the joystick we have auto iris if i press auto iris you'll see that it's automatically adjusting yes and i can uh, turn it off again we have uh, active panel on off now i want to go to the top uh, part of the rcp so in this section you really see all the parameters we can adjust and this is so cool because this camera has a lot of parameters you can set uh, and that you want to set if you're a professional uh, camera uh, shader then you see here we have a pedestal for red green and blue we have the master pedestal over here we have um, master knee enable we can set knee point and knee slope so if i use this encoder to uh, change this value you'll see that i t i now enable master knee and i have the ability to set the knee point and the slope and so forth. Um, I have a chroma parameter here. We have color coded these knobs so that they are grouped together. You can see these three knobs, they have the same color while these are colored red, green and blue and white for the uh, overall master pedestal right there. Now, if you want to change these settings, then you need a menu. And we decided to put the menu onto this RCP on the upper button. So there you see when I press this button, I'm now going to the uh, linear matrix. So now we have linear matrix settings. If I enable this, then you see uh, the dimensions red to green, red to blue, uh, green to red, green to blue, and so forth. And of course, we can adjust these parameters with the knobs, and that's really uh, uh, cool. If I go on, I have frame rates. I can set exposure index, uh, master, uh, sorry, master gain. Um, variable shutter shutter uh, speed, which I cannot change right now because I have turned this one off. But if I turn it on, then you see now I have ability to set the shutter speed, just to mention one thing. Or you can set it in uh, degrees instead because the camera supports these two uh, different aspects of it. Now we have ND filter as well, which is in this case um, automated in this camera. White balance settings, we have gamma settings. And finally, we have a lot of color correction parameters in this little uh, unit. Um, that, that, that's the more advanced stuff. Come to our booth and see all these things in action. If, or follow us on YouTube where you'll find videos that go in depth with this great camera. We are really happy to bring it out to you at NAB 2019 and uh, to Panasonic for working with us and making this happen. Mm -hmm.